Welcome back to another video, you guys. Consider this video today the start of the Miata interior project. We kind of got started a couple weeks ago with the rev limiter gauge install. We're gonna really get into it today. You might remember a while ago, I stripped out the interior of the Miata, did a heater core, and got rid of all my old carpet because it was disgusting. We're gonna get going with getting that replaced with brand new carpet. I drove the car around yesterday. The heater core appears to be holding. The interior remained dry as well as those heater hoses in the engine bay. So I think we should be good to go ahead with this carpet install. But first I've got to give a big, big thank you to Mas Miata. They're the ones who sent over the carpet for today's video. They actually reached out a little while ago. They had noticed some of my photos on Instagram and really liked them. If you've ordered anything from Mas Miata, you might have seen this. They reached out about putting one of my photos of my car on the cover of the most recent catalog. So big thank you to them, very grateful for that. That was a really cool opportunity. And since then, I've been in contact with a few very awesome people over there at Moss, and they were able to put this together for this video today. So again, thank you to them. If you guys own a Miata and you don't know about Moss Miata somehow, you need to go check them out for sure. Link will be in the description. They carry anything and everything you would ever need for your Miata. They were probably one of the first ones I went to when I first got this car to replace some OEM replacement parts that needed replacing, like the brakes, interior pieces, stuff like that. But they also carry all sorts of aftermarket parts, suspension, exhaust, you name it. So definitely go check them out. And again, thank you, Mas Miata. So as far as what we need to do today, today is most likely just gonna be kind of a prep day. And I wanna give you guys a look at the carpet that they sent over. What we're gonna do right now is get the rest of the stuff out of the interior that needs to come out. I'm gonna take out the seats and the seat belt latches, as well as the center console and maybe the tombstone if we need to. I'm gonna take note of any other items that we should go ahead and replace while we're in here doing this job. I know my rubber insulator for the shifter is worn out. We definitely wanna replace that. That will help with road noise. Probably gonna get a new HVAC faceplate to freshen that up, as well as maybe a new e-brake handle. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get to work. So as far as what all comes in the box with this kit, behind me is everything. You will notice all the different carpet pieces. Instead of how the OEM, the floor, is pretty much all one piece, these are separate pieces for everything. So it should make it a lot easier to install and you should not have to remove your dash potentially. To get my old carpet out, since I knew I was not gonna be reusing it, I just cut it and then I was able to get both sides out without touching the dash. But with how all these pieces are separate, putting them in, we should be able to do it without removing the dash, I think. So in addition to all the carpet pieces, it comes with a set of very detailed instructions, as well as some OEM style plastic clips and the OEM style button snaps that you'll find inside the Miata interior. It also comes with the OEM style foam insulation that goes underneath the carpet. This stuff tends to tear up and get really nasty whenever you remove the old carpet. This will also help with sound deadening. All right, so I've got seats, seat belt, and center console out right now. Probably as far as I'm gonna go on this today, I'm gonna continue on this project this week and next weekend. I'm also gonna go ahead and order some new parts for the interior, so hopefully those will be here by next weekend. And then we will get that full install video of the carpet, hopefully finish up the interior for the most part. But yeah, that was the first look at the Moss Miata premium carpet set for the NA Miata. Very excited to have this interior complete again. It should be a lot nicer. I'm gonna do a little extra sound deadening, I think, on this, and maybe do a little bit in the trunk. I also found some of this gold heat tape laying around the house. I think I'm gonna try and get underneath the car 
and line the transmission tunnel with this to try and get those temperatures down. We went for a drive yesterday and I got some before temperatures of this transmission tunnel. Without the carpet in here, it gets very hot. I'll show you guys the temperatures right now. But yeah, you can you can feel it with your hand. It's almost too hot to touch. Having the carpet back in will help a lot with that, but you still notice that it gets pretty warm down there. So I'm gonna try and cut some of that down as well. I also have some new door cards or door panels for the interior doors. I've had those forever and just never put them on. They're the plastic style and they're kind of modular. So you can delete the OEM armrests in place of a door pull or something like that. So I may experiment with putting those on at some point in the future and maybe wrapping them in fabric after I get this carpet done. So plenty to look forward to. Next steps are gonna be getting that shift boot and stuff replaced before I put the carpet back over top of that. I'm also gonna go ahead and do that sound deadening like I said. But that is pretty much going to do it for this week. Look forward to the installation of this carpet next week, as well as some more Miata videos, as always, coming your way. Don't forget to check out Moss Miata in the description below. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have an awesome week, and we will see you in the next one. Whoa!